Hi everyone and welcome to the Light Effects tool set. This brand new tool set features a diverse range of some of our favorite lighting effects from multiple different Archipelago and Quest sets. We've collated those together to give you more than 20 of these effects, including sunbursts, lens flares, prisms, and light leaks. So let's jump into Lightroom and take a look. So here in Lightroom, we're gonna find the Light Effects tool set over here with the other Archipelago tool sets. And in here you can see we have sunspots, sunbursts, lens flares, ring of fire effect, rays, solace, prism, light leaks, and even an anamorphic flare. So there's a nice diverse range of lighting effects within this collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and edit this image with some of these lighting effects and just kind of walk through how to get the most out of them. So let's take a look first at these presets. You'll notice that some of them have a H or a V in the name, and that just denotes whether it should be used for a horizontal or vertical image. So in this case, I have a vertical image, so I'll be using the V versions of any presets that have a V or a H in the name. We'll start off by applying a sunspot to this gorgeous image. This image is by Foggy Stories. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply Sunspot V. So when I hover over the effect, obviously you can see the preview. Once I apply it, you can see the effect applied here. Now, all these effects are going to apply to a certain area of the image, but from there, you can go into the masking panel and you can move where they are placed. We recommend using Lightroom Classic when it comes to moving masks around. And that's because at the moment, Adobe Camera Raw doesn't have the same functionality as Lightroom Classic for moving masks around. It's not as easy to do, unfortunately. But to move them around in Lightroom, we can just head up to the masking panel here, and we can now see that we have the sunspot mask that I applied there. If I give that a click, you may see on the image these little handles appear. So we have these little pins, the little brushes, and these are what make up the particular effect that's being created. So in this case, the sunspot. Now, it could be that you don't see these particular pins appear on your image. Now, if that's the case, all you need to do to make them show is go to the masking panel, head to the three dots at the bottom right of the masking panel, give that a click, and come down to show pins and tools. And in there, you may have it selected to auto or never, and that might not necessarily show you the pins. So I would recommend switching to always, and that will allow you to see the pins that are needed for adjusting the effect. So now with that masking layer selected, I can go ahead and grab any of these pins here, and I can move the entire effect around. So I'm gonna place this effect up here, a little bit higher in the frame, right about there, which is where the natural light is coming from in this particular image. And I'm just gonna enhance that with this sunspot effect. Now, what you don't want to do when it comes to moving masks is to click on a pin before moving it. So if I was to click on this first and then attempt to move it, I'm actually now only moving that particular brush within the mask itself, rather than moving the entire mask layer. If that happens, all you need to do is come back to the masking panel here, click on the top level of the mask rather than any of the effects within it. So on the top level of the mask, then you can just click and drag the entire effect. So now that I have that place, let's go ahead and add a sunburst to this just to kind of add a little bit more drama. Now we have the sunburst effect, give that a click, select the pin and move it into place. So now I want to change the intensity of this particular effect. I don't want it to be quite as intense as it is. Now you may be familiar with the preset amount slider at the top left of the preset panel here. But if I was to use that on a mask, uh, for one reason or another, when you do that, if I adjust the amount here and let go, the position of the mask resets to the default position when you apply it. So if I undo that, obviously I'd moved it up to here, but when I adjust it, even if I increase it, you can see it increases the intensity, but it moves the mask back to its original position. So instead of using the preset amount slider when it comes to a mask, if we've moved it, what you want to do is head into the mask itself in the masking panel, and then from there use the amount slider at the top of the masking tools. So here I can bring the amount up or down, and I can increase it all the way up and let go, and you can see it doesn't move the position, it just changes the intensity. So for this, I'm gonna bring it down a little bit, just want a little subtle amount, let's say around about there. And then let's go ahead and add a lens flare. So we have a couple of different lens flares here. We have a lens flare one vertical and lens flare two vertical. I think two looks good for this based on the image. So I'm gonna give that one a click. Again, into the masking panel, select that layer. And you can see with this one, we have a huge amount of pins here. All these separate pins are different elements within that particular masking layer. Very, very complex, but gives this really beautiful effect. So you can see if I move this around, you get this really dramatic lens flare effect. So I'm gonna position this slightly over the subject here. And again, I can change the intensity, bring it down, bring it up. I'm gonna go for a little bit more of a dramatic look. So I'm gonna increase it just a little bit. 
And I'm gonna finish this off by adding a ray. So we have a couple of rays. Uh, these go into different orientations. So we have ray one vertical and ray two vertical. I'm gonna use ray two for this one because I like the orientation of that ray. Again, click into the masking panel, select the mask layer, move into position, I think somewhere in about there. And then I can decrease the amount to my liking. So I'm gonna go for something quite subtle, I think around about there. So now let's take a look at the before and after.